Hi Kimberly, how are you doing my love? Thanks for joining and joining me on Facebook yesterday. <laughs> Welcome. I'm a, I'm a bit early today. A bit early today with it being Saturday. Hi Jill. Um, and I won't be able to scope at 2.30 as I've got to ship my daughter all over the place. Juliet, welcome. Oh my goodness, you're keen. Oh, thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm okay, my love. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hi, Joel. Hi, Trudy. Welcome. So if there's some new people here, welcome. I am scoping early. I usually scope 2.30 UK time. My name is Indra. Silenthyphenmoon.co.uk is me. And I'm going to try and make it a, a brief first scope than usual today. Um, my scopes usually have been very long over the last few weeks. So I want to try and make them a little bit shorter today um, as it's Saturday. Hi Bill, welcome. So I just wanted you to sort of sit a few moments. Thanks Joel, thanks for sharing my website. I just wanted to share with you, just I'll just turn this around. Gee, it's... it's um, five to one in the UK, hairs all over the place. Woo, I'm dropping you. You can see my ceiling. <laughs> so I just wanted to share my thoughts with you today about the background, the background noise within, uh, well, foreground noise and the background within us. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that place of peace within you. And just really thank you for sharing. And just being aware of... When life is busy and everything is going on, thank you, thank you for joining. Lots of people coming in. When everything's going on in front of us, what is it that we can actually do? I'm good, my love. Um, what is it that we can actually do to step back and really step into our own background space and just really be aware of who we are? So yesterday we spoke a bit about um, the breath and we talked a bit about being with the breath and we did a five minute sort of meditation and connected with ourselves for new moon for tomorrow for those of you that might have been there or you can watch the replay now that everything's saved um it was lovely to hear what all you had to all of you had to say from just connecting with self just being able to connect with who you are um and all of you managed to do that you're all your own teachers oh goodness i keep getting asked that question how old am i do you want me to tell the truth <laughs> I'm 43. So um, just before we begin, um, please feel free on the other side to block people. I know Periscope have actually, they're actually monitoring people now. Um, so you can actually block them from the other side. So please do that. These people just, um, they, can, they can come and they can go. And there's like lovely words that Anita Wing says. Um, we, Anita Wing Lee from um, Global Meditation Scope, she talks about all the good people will stay. So it's absolutely right. So you can say what you want. It, um, it doesn't really affect me. Thank you for saying that though. <laughs> 25. No, not quite. I'm in England in the UK. Yeah, I'm in the UK. I'm in Harrogate in North Yorkshire. So let's talk a little bit before we pull an earthbound card about that space and about that place of stillness. When life is really busy in front of us, when all the foreground stuff is going on, when conditioning is touching us, when we're having a trouble with, or trouble with life, when there's lots and lots of stuff going on, whether it's to do with your business, whether it's to do with your own energy, whether it's to do with your kids, whether it's to do with your husband, whether it's to do with just life in general. What is it that you can do just to step back? Hey, Meredith, it's early today. I'm scoping a little bit early, my love, but thank you for being here. So yesterday, as I was saying before, we, we talked about stepping back, stepping back into that place of stillness, stepping back into the breath and really looking at how it feels just to be with your internal self, just to get us on and welcome, just to sit with who you are. And so I would invite you now, once again, like we did yesterday, especially if you missed it, is to just step back and take three deep breaths into your belly, breathing in through the nose and just allowing the center of your body to expand and to grow. And then breathing out through the nose and just allowing yourself to relax and to contract and release. And I did mention yesterday, and I say this quite a lot to the people I teach, I teach people with addiction. So I work with, um, with yoga nidra and with yoga practice. And I say to people a lot, a lot is if, if you remember, well, you don't maybe don't remember, some people do, when we're born into the, this earth, we come in on an in-breath. So that's all about bringing in the vitality into our bodies. And when we leave this earth, we leave on an out-breath. 
and I've just been doing a little process about my father's death. My father died three years ago this month, so I've just been working through that over just about an hour ago. Um, and that was quite releasing for me. And I relate that to the out-breath. I relate that to really allowing myself to let go of what it is that holds me, what it is that is holding, what is holding on to me right now, and just allowing that to go. It creates that space within me creates that stillness within me and it drops another barrier it's like a layer of an onion it just opens and opens and opens so allowing yourself to just be in that space and I think Joel I, I didn't quite catch that but I think you said something about loving the breath and so when there is so much going on give yourself permission to just sit and just allow yourself to be step out of life for a few moments take a few deep breaths and Call it a little meditation or a mini meditation. Give yourself permission to do that, to take three or four deep breaths, four or five times a day, even if you have to step out the office. There's nothing to say that you have to be there at that time because we're always more productive when we work with the breath. We're always more productive when we find a space within us. We're always more productive when we allow ourselves just to be who we are. I love... Um, yeah, but it's true though, isn't it? And it's extremely simple. It's just, if we connect with that, that that is what life is. It's like, we can't have the in-breath without the out-breath. They come together. We can't have men without women. We can't have day without night. So, you know, it's those opposites. They work with each other. Thanks for the hearts, Meredith. So I did, it's kind of a little bit of a repeat from yesterday because I just wanted to really sort of say that, that to, to, we don't often give ourselves permission enough just to, to step out of life. And we are so caught up in the foreground of life and the busyness that even when we're in that, we have the ability to step back into the background. Even when we're talking, we have the ability to feel what it like, what it feels like to feel ourselves. Dave, welcome to feel who we truly are within. And often I do that by just feeling my energy body. I can feel it right now. I can feel the energy body within me as I just sit here. My daughter's shouting out there. I can, and, I, and I can just feel it. Or if you have an issue with doing that, if it's, it's not easy for you to feel your energy body, it comes in time. Feel the energy within your hands, feel the energy within your palms. Feel the stillness within your body. Feel the energy in your feet. And it often comes like a pins and needles, a feeling of pins and needles. Not to, not to recognize the form of your hand, not to see it as a physical thing, but to actually feel what's going on within your hand. It's an amazing thing. Joel spoke yesterday about um, feeling the face. I love that. And I found that really difficult. I found that really hard. Um, the lovely Joel is scoping at two. Um, I'm a little bit early today. I usually scope at half past two UK time. But he was talking about um, touching your face and feeling how it feels, you know, to, to really accept yourself. And that isn't easy for everybody. That's really difficult for some people. And, oh, no, you're welcome. Yeah, absolutely. So, Kimberly, there you are. You're, you're feeling that energy. You're feeling the internal energy within. That's so lovely. And that's the start of meditation. That's the start of stepping into your space, into your background. Yeah, so feeling the face is, it's very challenging, feeling feeling the body, feeling the face. and Because and, we don't allow it. We just don't. I'm, I'm really excited to know what today's is, but I might not be able to make your scope today as it's Saturday and it's busy, busy, busy. So anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, just being able to, you know, some people just say, oh my goodness, how do I do that? How do I do that? How, how do I meditate? How do I step into that space? How do I step into that background? Yes, I will catch the replay. Because I can't, because life is too busy. There's no can't. We all can do it. We're all made to do it. Nobody needs to teach us how to do it. So on that note, uh, next Friday, Saturday, Sunday is Global Meditation Scope. For those of you that find meditation and being still difficult, Oh, good. I'm glad. And if it only resonates with one people, one people, one person, that that's that's enough for me, my love. So I'm so I'm so glad. I've done my job today. <laughs> so.
So Global Meditation Scopes next weekend. I will be scoping an hour meditation at 2.30 UK time next Friday. Um, so please do join me and it will be a, a long yoga nidra practice. So just all I ask of you is to get yourself comfortable, as comfortable as you can and into a place of stillness. And if the weather is cold around you, Get yourself nice and warm and I'll take you through a wonderful practice, probably with a little bit of an introduction and then and then a nice long practice so that you feel really good um, when you step away at 2.30, at 3.30. So, yeah, Global Meditation Scope is a wonderful way of being able to find the meditation that is right for you. So whether that be movement, creativity, um, through listening, through, I have to remember all these five um, keys, these five themes, uh, breath, or I think I said listening, there's another one, it doesn't matter, but even if you, f you find what it is that's right for you, remember that meditation is about you, it's about stepping into your own, own movement, thank you, it's about stepping into your authenticity, it's about finding out what's right for you and not necessarily what's the person next door is doing. Remember, yoga isn't about having to sit with your hands in chimudra and your legs crossed. It is really about finding the space within you. Oh, thank you for sharing. Thank you for being here, my love. Um, so yeah, so if I've resonated with you today, just give give me a little bit of a share. That's always very, very welcome. And please do join me. I, I do scope regularly at half two every day UK time. Tomorrow is new moon, so it's my it's my new moon scope in Gemini. So I will be giving some wonderful information about this new moon. Remember that you can start your intentions, start thinking about your intentions now for the next phase. Silent-moon.co.uk is me also, so you can check me out on my website and all the creations that I make by moonlight and with Mother Nature. And also I am on Instagram. Uh, Vanessa put a great post out on Facebook. Oh, I missed that. What was that? What was it for? Let me know. I'll have a look. She's not on today. Um, Silent Moon Imaginarium on Instagram and Facebook and Silent Moon Indra on Instagram. Or oh, not on Instagram, on Twitter about New Moon. Okay, I'll check that out. Wonderful. Okay, so let's, before I go, if you're just joining me, welcome. You might want to watch the replay. Before we go, let's just pick an Earthbound card out. If you're still there, Meredith, which I think you are, if you have them with you, then please do grab them. Meredith has the same cards in the US, so we do kind of a, a pond crossover. <laughs> it's really kind of nice. One day we'll pick the same card, Meredith. So these cards are wonderful. They're really quite surreal and lovely. They're very straightforward. They have lovely creative pictures and they always have a lovely, just one word to say, thanks, Jill, to say what it is that your day is about. So if you're just starting your day, just with lightheartedness, share with me and share with everybody else what it is that you see within this card. Are you there, Meredith? Have you got your cards? Aha, uh -huh. oh, lovely. Okay, this is a nice one. It reminds me of Snow White. If you have your cards, please share. So we've got the apple as the gift. It's a bit like Snow White, the poison apple. <laughs> I actually, are you okay seeing that? Because I know it could be a bit blurred. I do take, oh, you've got guide. I'll pull that out so everybody can see guide too. So I do actually take this with a bit of a little bit of a um, uh, a feeling of the Snow White. There's just, there's a feeling there of, of Snow White being handed this apple to me uh, because I do work with the sort of the fairy tales of life as well throughout my business and with Silent Moon. Taking a trip. Oh, wow. A gift. That's wonderful. I, I do, there's, there's a slight sort of edge to this card with me. I get that feeling. So the first thing that came comes to me is Snow White. So I get that feeling of the gift, but just being really aware and being really aware of your own wisdom as you receive the gift. It's one of those big, juicy apples. Um, you said you got guide, Meredith. So I'm going to pull that out as well. So be guided um, by your gift. Don't go to for 100 years. Don't go to sleep for 100 years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Taking a trip and perhaps being bruised from it. Ooh, nice, Kimberly. I like that. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for the guide because Meredith then in, in the States has got the guide. So I'm gonna, it's probably at the bottom of the pack. I remember last time it was, um, it was on the, on the bottom. I need this card. I need this card, Paul. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. 
Welcome. I'm trying to find it. Mm, it's probably right. Is it the, um, sometimes I think I have to struggle in the dark. I think that's the case with most of us. Seeds from your moon self. It'll be the bottom card, I can guarantee. I think it's a dream catcher, isn't it? But pulling a card can really help. It does help. Especially these ones. I don't know what you think about these ones, but I absolutely love these cards because they're really straight. They're just really, really straight. <laughs> I can't find the guide. That's weird. Um, the door look. The door looks like it's half open. Trust your instincts and enter. Yeah. They're basic. That's what I like about them as well, Meredith. Even the poison can be a gift. Yeah, and absolutely. So I'm welcome again. Where is the gift? I'm go that's that's going to get me now because it's I'm, I'm I, the no, it's the guide. Sorry, the guide. There you go. So we've got the gift and the guide. It is it's the compass, right? Oh goodness, I'm getting muddled up. So Meredith picked this card in the US, and I picked this card in the UK. So you can put them both together. Be guided by your gift. I'm I'm still going um with the with the story of Snow White. Actually, I, I'm really feeling that today. Maybe that's just my projection to you all as I'm feeling that story. And I liked what, what Joel said about even the poison can be um, a gift. Um, and also what Kimberly said, really, really good share. So thank you. The guide is a gift. I just keep seeing the, the um, and the crone energy handing over this, this apple to Snow White in her innocence, in her maiden innocence. Use your inner compass to find the, your path. Yeah, to find your guidance. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. So those are the two ga the two hearts today. May they take two hearts today. Oh, two, <laughs> two guards today. Goodness gracious. It's ten past one and I should be awake by now. The guide somewhat looks like the belly of a trap to be watchful for. It's a compass. It's I like that though, and it's a beautiful colour. So anyway, may they both guide you into your day. So we've shared across the pond there, which is always really nice. I love it when um, pendulum swings. I love it when Meredith pulls one and, and I pull one when she's on scope. It's really lovely. And as I say, one day we'll get the same card. <laughs> yeah, it does. There absolutely does. Wonderful. Well, thank you everybody, everybody for sharing today. And maybe just allow your breath to guide you. May that allow, May the breath... Um, be your gift also from the universe that you've been given this wonderful gift um, and may that be the the message for today that you've been given the breath as your gift so use it use it for your benefit oh thank you <laughs> oh you're so welcome Oh, thank you. I, I, that's a lovely thing to say. And uh, I received a lovely message from Vanessa yesterday, yesterday saying that she's seen me kind of change in the last few weeks, which um, I've asked her to elaborate on that because um, just for my own own sake of, wow, I'd like to know where that comes from. I'd like to I'd like to honour that myself. And, and when somebody sees that, I like to know what it is that they see. Um, oh, well, then you tell me. You tell me now and I'll see if it relates to the email I get off Vanessa. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not as rushed. Ah, mm. I'm stepping back a little bit. I'm stepping into my background. Yes, I did. The change when I shared my story. I think Joel did as well, quite a lot. And I think what it is with me, I'm becoming more authentic. And when I make mistakes or... or boo-boos on here or whatever, I never use that word, but anyway, um, that kind of thing on Periscope or whatever, or social media, because I'm on social media a lot, yeah, what it is is that I don't care, whereas I think before I used to care, yes, there is something in, my, in the storytelling, I totally agree with that, thank you, Kimberly. well, this change is hopefully here to stay, <laughs> Yeah, I got that yesterday, Sonam. Somebody said the same. I'm, I'm a lot more relaxed. And I think what it is 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 that I don't. I've, I've I've held. I've let go of that that need to really care about it. 
and it is as it is and I'm not, and I'm that I feel really good about and I think Meredith's right since I shared my story. Oh, it actually used to con concern you. You took deep breaths for me. Oh, well, I wouldn't get concerned. It's to, I think it, what it is, is just a phase where, where everybody is. It's a phase where you are in your life and you just go through those shifts. And I also think with Sonam, meeting her and, and listening to her story gave also gave me permission a little bit more to open up. Um, and it was that night when I was listening to her. I thought, well, <laughs> yeah. She's been through so much too. I'm going to share a little bit more as well. And I think that's what happens. And I think that's really helped me. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I didn't really ever feel anxious. It's, um, I, I don't think I get, I get anxiety, but not so much now. Um, I think scoping was just something that made me quite nervous. I used to do it every single day um, and then stop and then actually get quite nervous scoping. I've noticed that I don't get nervous now when I scope. I've noticed that before scoping, I don't get so nervous. Whereas before I was feeling a knot in my stomach thinking, oh, I'm feeling quite sick about doing this. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. That's lovely. It, it's great to hear. And I'm, I'm really that good. I'm glad I did. I, I, I've had a lot of messages from people saying that. Thank you. I've taught for so long. Okay. <laughs> More. Silent-moon.co.uk. You can go and check me out on my website. If somebody dares to put it in the box below, um, that is me. And, um, I genuinely love you and I can't wait to meet you. Oh, lovely. Thank you, son. I know we need to connect and we'll, I'll, I'll get myself to London and connect with you at some point. Um, it will be really lovely. Um, I am authentic. Yes, I, I am. And um, I don't really cover stuff up. So my website is there. Um, please tell me who you were. Then I've got you. Then I've got your name and I can I can call you by your name when you come on scope. If I remember, I can't always remember everybody if they don't have the names in the handles. Um, but then there's there's some wonderful free meditations on my site um, under um, the tales page and also at the bottom of the home page you can pick up your free meditations there and also sign up for my newsletter and um, you'll find out more about what it is that I do and you can find out all my find out more about all my lovely offerings also that are there so I'm going to go now I said I wasn't going to scope for very long and um, I have done and I, I really appreciate what you've all shared with me I think that's that's really lovely I'm always 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 very happy to hear what you have to say so keep it up everyone <laughs> sending you lots of love and stay with the breath soon oh thank you thank you thank you lots of love